Hello! In this tutorial I will be covering how I create custom actor graphics in Photoshop for a stencil flash game. I'm using Photoshop CS5 to make my pixel art, so I'm going to open that and create a new image file that's 35 by 42 pixels and the resolution should default to 72 dpi. For pixel art, I prefer to use the pencil tool at the size of 1 pixel and at 100% hardness. That will get you some clean and cool pixel art. It takes a bit to get used to, but keep working on it and refining it until you get something you're happy with. This is a character I'm currently working on, and I can use Photoshop to test animations as well. The white and gray checkered background on the images on the left indicate that they have a transparent background, which is what you'll need for your stencil actor graphics. Work in layers to keep the space around your character transparent. If your background is an opaque flat color, select it with the magic wand and at one tolerance hold down shift to select all the background area and then under select choose inverse to select your character art. Copy and paste to make a new layer of your selected character art with a transparent background. You can check your new layer by putting a solid layer behind it. Delete the original layer and save the revised image as a PNG file, which you will have to save as a copy. Now I'll open Stencil. From the Welcome Center, I'm going to select the Create a New Game icon, and under the Options, I'm going to select a Jump and Run kit for the sake of this tutorial. There's a basic platformer scene set up with a block player with many built-in platformer game mechanics. Under the Actor tab, click and open on Jumper to see your pre-made block actor. Now I'm going to add the pixel art I made by clicking on the Add a Frame icon and choose Image to find the PNG file I saved. Click Open, Add, and then remove the original frame. Under the Collision tab, make sure your collision box is lined up with your actor graphic and the bottom of the box should line up with your actor's feet. Now if I check the scene, the right idle graphic is replaced by my pixel art. If you want to add animation to your character, draw new frames with slight movement adjustments to your art and add them after your current frame for an animated idle graphic. And that's the basics of how I add custom pixel art to actors in stencil flash games. Try filling in the other slots with your animations and completely customize your character art. The sky's the limit, so good luck and have fun!